welcome to the DTC Insider Podcast, where online business owners come to find actionable tips and tactics to grow their businesses. Now, here's your host, Brian Roizental. Black Friday is here. I can't believe that. Today is a day brands have been waiting the whole year. And I know today the attention of e-commerce brands and marketers is all over the place. So I won't make of this episode a long one. I will make a short and sweet episode with the last minute Black Friday checklist. Sounds good? So let's get to it. I made I made this checklist. And by the way, you can get it in the show notes. I dropped the link there. That covers three main areas. And again, I'm assuming that you have already done your due diligence and you have checked that every system is in place, that every communication is there for Black Friday. But just in case you listen to this before the day starts or uh, during the event and you discover something that can help you, that's all what I that's all I want. Okay. So We'll get started with the offer and website. First, of course, make sure the offer is well-defined and well-communicated across channels, meaning that it has consistency on paid ads and on the website, on email, that everyone sees the same message. Of course, I'm keeping it simple. I know that you might send different messages for different audiences. I'm just saying that if the offer is X, everyone should see X across the board. So make sure that's clear. Make sure, of course, you have enough inventory by now. I'm sure you have checked that. Make sure the site speed is great on mobile, not only on desktop. Make sure the site speed is great and everything is clear on mobile. Make sure the discount codes work and match your creatives and copy. This is a common mistake, very common. Some brands don't even test that because they say, hey, I'm going to make the discount code start at when the event when the event starts. And then nobody checks that and things are broken and nobody can tell and until it's too late. So make sure discount codes are working and match what you put in the creatives and copy because sometimes brands change it along the way before launching and something I don't know, an old discount code gets um, is still there in a, in a copy or creative that shouldn't be. Then the website visuals and copy, make sure that they are updated with the Black Friday theme and the deals. So that's everything. Again, it sounds simple, but the devil is in the details. So make sure that everything is dialed in on that end. Pay the ads. Make sure the account's budget limit is lifted or increased. I know many accounts work with one with a budget limit, so make sure it's increased. Otherwise, you won't be able to scale as planned. Make sure the ads for Black Friday are created ahead of the event. Or if you, have, if you haven't launched them yet, make sure you activate them. Or the same with Cyber Monday. If you're doing Cyber Monday ads, or ads during the weekend different from the ones they're doing today, make sure that those are active, not active, but uh, published before it starts because it will take a time for them to, to review and activate so I can launch them before. Then make sure to start and end dates for the campaigns and ads that expire, I don't know, today, by the end of the day, during the weekend or on Black Friday are the the right ones. Check the dates. That's another common mistake. The ad budget um, increases our schedule. You can schedule that now on Meta. You can schedule that otherwise through rules as well. So make sure that that's already scheduled unless you're going to do it manually. Again, make sure the campaigns are created and already approved. I'm saying that because many, many companies launch the campaigns when they want to um, start running them and not before. And again, sometimes it can take a while for them to go through the review process. So make sure those are already approved. And the same with the audiences, make sure the audiences are already created and populated. Don't create new ones now. Try to work with what you already have or create them as soon as possible. Email and SMS marketing. 
make sure the core flows in place, make sure the core flows, sorry, are in place with the Black Friday or Cyber Monday messages. Make sure that happens. The audience segments are built. The VIP customers, those who bought during the last Black Friday and Cyber Monday, those who didn't buy during the last 90 days, those who bought in the last sale, you did anything that you anticipate that could work, make sure you build those segments. And again, for the email and SMS campaigns, make sure those are scheduled and everything is in place and everything goes to the right segments without overlap. So that's basically, again, I, as promised, this is it. I wanted to make sure that I covered this. Today is not a day for creating an episode for, of 40 or 50 minutes and talking about many, many other subjects. This is a topic that should be as planned, short and sweet, with these uh, golden nuggets for you to take home. And again, if it was too simple, that's the idea. Everything should be simple and even more by now. Everything should be dialed in. But in case something that I said helps, that made my day. Thank you. And we'll see you in the next episode. This episode was brought to you by BSR Digital. We help DTC brands grow through paid ads and email marketing campaigns. If you'd like us to help your business grow, head on over to bsrdigital.com and schedule a call with us.